It's a pandemic. It's a pandemic. I'm so I'm stressed. So Another year of living like this. I don't know if I can do it. We've all been depressed and stressed because of the pandemic. And 2020 has really, really not been an easy year for us. We have gone through the mill and back and we were forced into a new normal. So under these conditions, it is normal to not feel motivated, driven, excited about 2021. My new year was incredibly dull. It was so depressing. It was so quiet. And I had to look at the positives to that. Living out my New Year's Eve celebration, going into the new year and praying into the new year, it just made me realize that it's okay because we played it safe and it is the better choice for us. And if we want to survive this and we want to get through this stronger and better for it, then we will need to do the necessary things now so that we can see the fruits of our work. And like any successful person will tell you, anything good that needs to be achieved requires some hard work, some rough patches, some not so easy times. But look, we have to get over it. We have to get excited. And I'm going to show you how. Front row with myself, Rowanna Mudley. Thank you so much for choosing the front row. And today I'm talking about how to get excited about the new year. We've been through hell and back. You know it, I know it. It's a pandemic. Can we just get over it already? But we're stuck in it. This is our new normal. This is how we're vibing. So we have to find a way to get excited about it. We need to pull ourselves away from the negativity, the dullness, the sadness, the stress, the depression, the all of the things that's going on. And we need to find things that are going to excite us for the new year and try and find methods and ways to get through this. On this channel, I talk about everything self-care, motivation, all the things that inspire me, improve my livelihood through my lessons. I share that with you and I hope that you will take away something from it. Comment below, let me know what you think about this channel so far. If you haven't by now, hit that subscribe button because you know you want to be a part of the royal family let's get into the video this intro was way too long self-growth should always get you excited you should always want to improve yourself be better than you were yesterday and just be a better version of yourself how to do that well there's a few steps you need to follow to get yourself into gear to achieving the things that you need to achieve and to pull yourself away from the sadness the first thing you want to do is set a goal now if you've been on this channel for a bit i have done a video on how to set goals i've also done a video on smart goals so please go check it out it's under the wisdom playlist and you can find some steps on how you can get that done i think if you have a goal to meet or you have like a structure or a method within the madness it helps you to get through the stresses of what life gives you because you have some sort of direction and you know where you're going so goal setting is so so important and goal setting doesn't need to be just something that everybody else is doing it is subjective it is something that you truly want for yourself and it really is something that you can tailor make and make it your own the next thing that could get you excited about the new year is to just try something new I have always wanted to try something new and as you know time is against me and like with everybody we all get sucked up into the busyness of life and it can be quite crazy the challenge is to write it down and perhaps make it one thing that you do that you've never done before for me I have never ever ever threaded my eyebrows before so I thought it was something that I wanted to learn it was a skill and it was a skill that I now am so grateful for because I can use that skill on myself on my mom and really just um, save some money and do my eyebrows the way I want to do it so a simple thing like that can really change your life and get you excited about something I now want to put more things on my list and maybe even get it a bit more complicated once a few years ago i did a, the big jump which is a jump from our stadium in kzd in durban called moses mabida and i jumped i think it was 60 meters from the top of the arch to the bottom the most dreadful and the most 
hectic feeling in the world. But I did it. And after doing it, I feel so accomplished. I feel so excited. And I'm grateful that I survived it. But I did it nonetheless. And it was an awesome experience. So doing something that you've never done before is always going to be gratifying. The next thing is something I want to try this year is to spend time with people you have never really had a chance to spend time with before. We get so busy, we get caught up into a whole a bunch of things. And now with COVID-19, it's very, very difficult for us to spend physical time. But we have the internet, we have Zoom, we have Skype, we have other means of conference calling someone or video calling someone. And it is a fantastic way to meet people. I tried it a few times where I did some Instagram live chats with phenomenal women and phenomenal people and people who were just doing the things in the industry. And I think I want to expand on that to just kind of learn from other people who are experiencing the same things I am and who have better solutions or more solutions. And it's so nice to have a circle of people that you can learn from and grow and just have like almost the same WhatsApp group. And the next thing I would say is to not take yourself so seriously. Life is so short. You can laugh at yourself. You can pick on each other and you should not take everything so seriously. You can take your career seriously. You can take your job seriously. You can take your work seriously. You can take your family seriously. But other than that, life should just be fun and more than it is daunting. We are going through such a crucial crisis right now. It's so stressful. We're having to put masks and sanitize and be vigilant about spacing and really just, we're really stressed and high strung. So with all of that going on, the last thing we want to do is to put added pressure on us and just wind ourselves up so tight that we don't even know what the hell is going on in the first place. So laugh a little, chill out, maybe watch some comedy shows, you know, that really does wonders for my attitude and, and, and the way I feel. So there's so many things you can do to change the way you feel. From a spiritual aspect, I would recommend doing some yoga and doing some meditation or listening to music that's very, very peaceful that will help you for your soul. Because I'm a strong believer in making your soul feel good. Because when your soul feels good, your body starts feeling good because your soul lives in your body and we have this body for now. So it's all intertwined, mind, body, soul, and if you make it all work in harmony, then you, you feel better. Also, try to have the right kind of foods. Drink a lot of water. Stay away from the alcohol. The alcohol makes you feel good for now and then it starts making you feel depressed. So maybe just try and cut down there and do things that just make you feel happy and gets your heart racing so that you can get some endorphins. Changing your outlook will definitely change your attitude and changing your attitude will change your reality and that determines how you feel. So it is very important that you choose wisely and you are very precise with what you do with how your mind is. Mental health is such a huge important factor in you feeling happy, feeling better. So taking care of that and really being strategic in what you do will help you tremendously. Being able to adapt, adjust, accommodate, be flexible, malleable, to be able to chop and change and not get stressed that is the kind of environment you can survive in. That is the kind of person you need to be to survive in this kind of environment. And it is going to help you to be successful and to feel happier. But if you're someone that's rigid, that is not open to change, then this is going to be a stressful time for you. But if you embrace the change and you find solutions that are accommodating of this, it will help you feel and look happier. I would really like to know what you are excited about for 2021 or how are you going to get through 2021 with our new normal. Comment below and let me know and if you haven't by now do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get updated. I post videos every Monday and every Thursday. The front row with myself Rowana Mudley is all about the lessons that I learn. It's a self-improvement channel. I put some beauty stuff in there. If you want to be empowered and motivated like me, or if you just resonate with the things that I do, then I would love for you to be a part of my royal family. So until the next video, keep it royal and keep it happy and make sure you stay safe during this 
hectic, hectic time. I want to take a moment to say that my heart goes out to the families that have lost loved ones. My heart goes out to the souls that have departed due to COVID-19. And I pray that you do find peace in this really, really trying time. It is a huge crisis and it is a serious crisis. And as much as I am talking about how we can get excited about the new year, I'm also remembering that there are people that are going to find it very difficult to go into 2021 excited. So I'm hoping that a video like this will help you to get past everything and try and move along.